Hey guys, welcome back to another emulation video. Today I'm going to try the PC SX2 PlayStation 2 emulator for the PC. Since the original PlayStation 2 doesn't have an HDMI video output, we weren't be able to play all these games in HD. Thanks to this amazing piece of software, we now get to play these classic PlayStation 2 games in HD and even in 4K resolution. Here you can see some gameplay recorded from the original PlayStation 2 video output. And this is the same game running using the PC SX2 emulator. You can download and install the emulator from their official website. You also need the PlayStation 2 BIOS file, which you can grab from your original console using the BIOS dump tool. Or you can use Google to find and download the PlayStation 2 BIOS file. Once you have your BIOS file, you need to copy the file to the BIOS folder. You can find the default BIOS folder under My Documents. In case you've downloaded the BIOS file, you need to unzip it in the BIOS folder. You can use a free tool such as WinRAR to extract the files. Once again, you can find the default BIOS folder under My Documents. To make things easier for myself, I've also created a folder called ROMs. That's where I've copied all my games. The first time you might need to set up a few things. For example, you need to select your controller or keyboard. And you also can change the controls to whatever you like. You also want to have a look at your video settings. For example, I needed to select my video card manually. Here you can also select the resolution. If you have a bit of an older PC, you might want to set the resolution a bit lower in order to play these games at full speed. Ok, it's time to show you guys some test videos of recorded gameplay.
To select the game after an ISO file, click on the C DVD button. Make sure ISO is selected and then browse and select your game. be different. We take this at your pace. Again, if your game isn't running at 50 or 60 frames per second, which means it isn't running at full speed, you might want to go back to the video settings and lower your resolution. This can even be done while playing a game without leaving the game. No notes, no drugs, no theories. We go back to the start. I also wanted to test some original PlayStation 2 discs. To do that, you'll need to select plugin under the C DVD menu to start the game from your CD drive. This all works fine, by the way. Since the original PlayStation 2 was backwards compatible with the first PlayStation, I also tried to run a PlayStation 1 game. However, that wasn't supported. If you are a PlayStation fan and you have a decent computer, I can really recommend trying the PC SX2 emulator. Simply because playing these old classic PlayStation 2 games in high definition is a really awesome experience. <laughs> 